Hello everyone. This is lesson number two and in this Microsoft Excel video we will talk about some more basics of Microsoft Excel 2016. When I open a worksheet like this you can see there are some days of the week and there is a series of these weeks as well like week one week two week three week four and if you don't know how to create that series in my first video I talked about that and you can find some more information about it but today we'll talk about some other options of Microsoft Excel on home tab and this is called home tab tab means the options on this green bar there are some tabs like home tab insert tab page layout formulas data review and view but today we will talk about only home tab and the options on this gray ribbon some of the options we'll discuss today and some of the options will be discussed in the later videos now the first option here is the name of the font and from here you can pick a new font for your text I just want to let you know that for Microsoft Excel worksheets Calibri 11 is the default size and if you change the font or the size of the text then you will have to do it yourself so let's do it together so I will just click and drag and choose the text so I have selected all of the text and now I want to change the font of the text and you can go to this box and press this tiny little arrow and choose the font you want from this drop down list so I would go with Algerian or Arial rounded empty bold so as soon as I move my cursor on any of them you can see the text is changing and you can select the one you like so when you go to your liked one just click on it and it will just change the whole font but some people don't just want to change the font sometimes they need to change the font size as well for example for this row I want to change the font size to a bigger one first of all you will have to select this row the same way we did before now you go back to this box Arial rounded if you want to change font again you can do it again but I don't want to change this time I just want to change only the font size and you have to go to this small box and the tiny little arrow that will help you to change the size of your text so here I will go over these size options and when I'm uh, just moving my cursor on them you can see the changes on my screen and whichever you like you can just click on it or just press enter now you can see some of the letters of this word week one week two week three they are hidden and this text is going over to the next column so if we want to avoid that and we want to see the all of the text in one simple cell then we will have to go to this 
this line if I want to change the size of only one column then I will go here and you can see this special sign when you see this sign when you see this special sign just press double click and now you can see the text is visible in only in one cell but if you want to do this for all of the all of the cells together you can select all of the columns you want to do auto fit and inside any of the columns just go to that end line of one of the cells and double click and you can see all of the cells the the text is visible now and you can also see it hasn't changed the size of the rest of the cells when you want to change the font size you can also change it from this option this a with the arrow going up and this a with the arrow going down this first one will make your text a bit bigger or you can say it can increase font size and the second option it can decrease the font size means it can make your text a bit smaller but I want to make it a bit bigger first so I will click on this only one time and it has made it little bit bigger but if I want to make it bigger and bigger again then you can press it as many times as you want and I'm happy with this size so I will leave it like this and I will readjust the size of the column now and you can see all of the cells here and when I selected all of the columns just double click inside any of the columns and on that special sign again and the size is increased now if I if I want to make it small again then I will have to choose this option decrease font size and you can do it the same way now this option is called bold how you can make your text bold you have to choose the text and you can just click on this and it can make your text a bit thicker means a bit bold and if you want to make it italic as well just click on this italic i now if you want to underline this then there is the third option just click on that one and it can underline your text you can see all of them here now I also want to fill some color in these cells I will select those cells like this and I will fill it up with some of the colors the yellow one is given by default but if you want to fill any other colors then you have to choose it from these options so I will go with this color and as soon as you bring your cursor here you can see the result of your selection and if you're happy with that just click on it as soon as you press enter it's all done there is another option that is there to help you to change the color of your text now you select the text again and click on this A and that red color click in this box as soon as you click on it you can see the color of your text has been changed 
but if you don't want to choose the red then you'll have to go into these other options and click on this tiny little arrow and go to other color options and you can just move your cursor on them and see the result you want so I like this one this one this one or this one I think I will go with this and this is ready that is it for today and in our next video we will talk about the alignment options on your home tab ribbon so thanks for watching and i will be back with a new lesson soon thank you